Hello everyone, Pixel Monk here, and welcome to an old school RuneScape guide showing you how to complete the quest Rat Catchers. This quest is considered intermediate difficulty and is long length, about one hour. The requirements for this quest include Ichthlarin's Little Helper and access to Keldegrim, which is gained by starting the Giant Dwarf. The ability to kill the King Rat, which is not fought by you, but fought by your cat. The required items for this quest include cat or hell cat. It is highly advisable to not bring a kitten. Rat poison or empty vial, quorum, and red spider's egg. Four pieces of cheese. Marintil. Unicorn horn dust. Bucket of milk. Cat speak amulet. Weeds. Tinderbox. Pot. And 301 coins. Although not required, it is highly recommended that you also have snake charm, which is obtained during the quest if you don't already have one. If you have completed the feud, bring it from your bank, as you will not get another one. Eight cooked or raw fish. Teleports to Ardoin and Varrock. Amulet of Glory. House teleport if set for Polnivnich or Narda teleport. Weight reducing gear such as graceful gear. Stamina and super energy potions. A way to take a screenshot. And one empty inventory space. There are some maps in the description below that help you to identify some of the key points of this quest. Open it up to keep it handy. To start the quest, you must first go to Gertrude. She is located directly south of the Cooking Guild in Varrock. Once there, talk to her. When prompted, select, I'm fine, thanks. Now you'll need to go to the Varrock Sewers. This is located just east of the Varrock Castle, outside of its walls, south of the Estate Agent. Once there, open the manhole and climb down. Talk to either Finkspet or Grimsquit. Your next task is to catch eight rats with your cat. If you haven't already, drop your cat from your inventory so that it's walking beside you. Right click on your cat and select interact with, then select chase vermin. This will enable your cat to chase and hopefully catch a rat. When you are successful, your character will say, hey, well done puss, you got it. There will be many times where you will fail. However, repeat this until you have caught eight rats. Your character will say, good job puss, we really showed those rats what for when finished. Afterwards, talk to either Fingspet or Grimsquit again. You will receive a rat pole. The next part of the quest is long and can be quite frustrating. Be prepared to spend a lot of time here, up to 45 minutes. When ready, teleport to Ardoin and head to a house that is just west of the Flying Horse Inn, directly north of the Ardoin Castle. Once there, be sure to have at least one empty inventory space and talk to Jimmy Dazzler. He will give you directions. Click on the directions. When prompted, select follow the directions to the house. You will be teleported to a mansion. Let's talk about what you have to do here. You'll be clearing out six rats in the house. However, you must not get caught by the guards that patrol the area and inside the house. You can move past them only when their backs are facing you, and even then it is not foolproof. Your timing will have to be just right in order to move from one location to another. There are three save points that are located within this area so that you're not teleported back to the beginning every time. The guards will not notice your cat. Be sure to have your run on at all times while here. If at any time you feel as though it's impossible to get around the guards, hop worlds, as sometimes the guards' patrols will be out of sync. To start, set your compass so that it's facing north. Your first task is to reach the first save point, which is located on the northern side of the mansion, up a trellis. You have two guards to worry about here. When the guard to the west of you is moving north, and the guard to the east is walking away from you, 
run behind the bushes to your left and keep going along the western fence line until you reach a small building. Now there will be two guards to the north. Wait until the one guard on the western side of the bushes has left the area completely and the other guard starts walking south on the other side of the bushes. Run from your location north to another set of bushes and stay behind the northern portion. From here you only have one guard to worry about. When the guard reaches the western end of the flower patch, he will stop. After a few seconds, he should move to the south and take a few steps. When this happens, run to the trellis to the east on the mansion and climb up. You have reached the first save point. Walk directly west next to the blue flowers to avoid being caught. From here on, if you are caught by the guards, you'll be teleported just outside of the mansion near the trellis. Be sure to check for guards if you are teleported to this save point. First, you'll want to enter the western bedroom, however there are two guards in the hallway. Be sure that the guards are far into the southern room with the stairs and not in view of the doorways, then run to the bedroom. Enter the room and immediately get out of view of the doorway. If your cat is missing, go into your warn equipment tab and select the whistle at the bottom right hand corner to call it. You'll need to catch the rat that is in this room. Right click on your cat and select interact with, then select chase vermin. When your cat is successful, you will now need to get directly across the hallway into the eastern room. You can try your luck and see if you can run straight across without being caught, or you can go back to the balcony and go to the eastern ledge with a red flower and repeat the same steps as earlier to enter the eastern bedroom. Again, when the guards are clear, run to the bedroom and immediately get out of view of the doorway. You will now have to enter the room that is to the south. This part is a little tricky, but when one guard has entered the balcony and the other has his back turned and is near the western bedroom, run. There are two rats in this room. Call your cat and have it catch them. When complete, climb down the ladder in this room. There are two more rats located here. Then enter the kitchen to the north and catch the last rat. When your character says, good job puss, I think that just about wraps things up here, you are all finished. Teleport back to Ardoin and talk to Jimmy Dazzler again. He will give you a book. You may drop the directions if your inventory is full. Be sure to pick it up off the floor if your inventory is full. Now use your Varrock Teleport. Once there, walk towards a minigame icon located on the eastern side of town. Enter the gate and talk to Hook Nose Jack, who is located nearby. If you brought the empty vial, quorum, and red spider's eggs, give them the Jack and he will make a rat poison for you. Once you have it, use a rat poison on all four pieces of cheese in your inventory. Then walk to the warehouse nearby that is south of the pub. Enter it and then climb the ladder to the second floor. Right click on one of the poison cheeses and select use. Use the cheese on one of the rat holes in this room. Repeat this for the other three rat holes. When complete, head back and talk to Hook Nose Jack. When prompted, say, can I help? You will now need to go to the apothecary in town. Walk directly west until you reach a building with a purple potion bottle. Talk to the apothecary. 
When prompted, say, I need to talk to you about cats. He will make a special anti-poison for cats. Talk to Hooknose Jack again to give him the anti-poison. Go back into the warehouse and climb the ladder to the second floor. If you haven't already, equipped your cat speak amulet and let's talk about the fight. You won't actually be fighting anything. Your cat will be doing all the work here. Your cat will be facing the King Rat. He has 10 hit points and can only damage your cat for one hit point at a time. Depending on the type of cat you have brought, it will have between 4 to 6 hit points. If at any time you feel as though your cat has too low of health, you can feed it with the fish you brought by using the fish on the hole in the wall, not on the cat itself. Be warned that your cat does have the chance of dying here, which would require you getting a new one from Gertrude to continue the quest. When ready, use your cat on the hole in the wall and the fight will begin. When prompted, select yes. The next prompt will leave you with two options. Be careful in their cat will make your cat flee if it is at half health, or go get that nasty rat which will make your cat fight to the death. Be sure to have your fish ready to give to your cat while it's fighting as shown in the video. After you have defeated the king rat, talk with Hooknose Jack again. Afterwards, walk to the northwestern part of the Grand Exchange to a trap door. Climb down it. This will take you to Keldegrim. Walk north towards the pick shop and talk with Smoking Joe. When prompted, select I could help you. Afterwards, drop your cat from your inventory. Go into the alcove just east of you and use your empty pot with the weeds. Use the tinderbox on the pot of weeds. Then use the smoldering pot on the rat hole to the south. A cutscene will occur. Use the smoldering pot on the rat hole again and your cat should offer to help you. Your cat will kill the rats. Talk to Smoking Joe again. Now you'll need to go to Port Serum. You can easily get there by using your Amulet of Glory to drain your village and then walk west. Go to the minigame icon in town and climb down the manhole. Search for Felkrash to the east and speak to her. Now, go back up the manhole and talk to the face who is nearby. After the conversation, you'll have to go to Polnivnic. There are two easy ways to get there. Either use a house teleport if set for Polnivnic, or use a Narda teleport and then use a magic carpet ride to Polnivnic. Once there, go to Ali the Snake Charmer, who is located just south of the bar. Use your coins on the money pot nearby him. When prompted, select, I want to talk to you about animal charming. What if I offered you some money? Forget about it, I don't care. Walk away slowly and stop. He will give you a music scroll and a snake charm if you haven't already completed the feud quest. Now you'll need to go back to the face at Port Serum, so teleport to Drainer Village with your Amulet of Glory and then walk west. Once by the face, read the music scroll and take a screenshot of it. Exit and then left click on the snake charm. 
For this next part, you'll have to play the music given to you by the scroll. There are eight pages worth of notes that you can choose from. Select the correct note by following the order of your music scroll. Only select one note per page. Use the higher octave button in the top left corner of the music pages only if one of the notes from your music scroll has one above it. When complete, select play at the top of the pages and a cutscene will occur. Climb down the manhole and talk to Felcrash to complete the quest. Congratulations, you have received two quest points. 4,500 thieving experience, access to the rat pits, and unlocked wily and lazy cats. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this guide and found it helpful. If you did, please subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>